Hey everybody, welcome to episode 21 of the Metal Gear Solid playthrough. This is Rogue Gamer, and... Ugh, I'm still in this room. I, it, it, it's, it's a little bit of a slog just because it's the final, final step before the step, you know? And, uh, oh boy, I'm just going to get through it. But cutscene time. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety. And if you couldn't tell, this is definitely set up for snakes here. I believe they even look at the camera to show that it's like outside the room. So a bit of a spoiler there. No, there's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Again, this is another moment where uh, you get to see... Um, this is the first game that really showed it. You can see how much Ocelot knows about shit. Very bright mind on that man. One billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Die vaccine in our demands. Fox Die. It killed octopus. Okay, so that should be, have been a hint. To anyone playing uh, for the first time, or, or you know, one of those aha moments. None of them should know what Fox Die is. Um, not sure if it was mentioned earlier, uh, but there's no reason that any of them should have contact about what it is. I know Snake didn't talk about it during interrogation. Uh, Meryl presumably doesn't even know it's a thing when Ocelot tortured her. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, interrogated her. Um, so there is a leak somewhere. Hmm. Again, like I said in the last episode, this is one of those games where nothing is fully what it is depicted to be. There's always some subterfuge. It is tactical espionage. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons. Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's we'll hear more from Galukovich here in the next game. And well. the heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we can put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We can still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> What's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Gulu? Yeah, he noticed them there. I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place... Outer Heaven. Big boss, big I'm kind of curious about big getting boss. a Outer Heaven tattoo at some point. Or either that or a Foxhound, early Foxhound one. 
because I love this series so much. Oh, never mind. There is what he's looking at by the camera. Like, Ocelot is basically, like, setting the ball on the tee right now. Like, he's choreographing this shit so much. By the way, what should we do with that? Liquid was never smart enough to figure out the double cross, though. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace of the hole. Who knows how long Ocelot's been in deep with him, though, at the same time. Snake, I found Baker's top secret file. You found what you were allowed to find, Otacon. You're good, but you're not back. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah, you better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one. I do like the concept of these cards. But after you play it like once or twice, or if you're like me that I played and recorded like three times until I got the playthrough I wanted for this game, um, yeah, it gets a little frustrating to redo over and over again, but it's still a very cool concept. This card key? Yeah, the card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. Now there are cheat codes um, Each symbol for the action replay thing or the emulator that lets you like modify the card by pressing certain buttons. I don't think I take advantage of them here. I think I programmed them to stealth instead to show that off because we wouldn't see that. And here's my here's my uh, my reasoning. All right, we wouldn't see that otherwise. Um, because I'm beating the game with the barrel option, not the uh, Otacon option. If you choose to submit to the torture. Meryl, uh, I think it's killed off. You can only use the key three times. escape with Autocon. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. In actuality, all three of them escape. Yeah, so everyone's happy. Damn. Yeah, but Ocelot knows where you are, buddy. <coughs> yeah, but here's an annoying part where the keys in the drainage ditch. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> and I believe there's an alert that's triggered too. Just I, again, I said there are some things about this room I don't like. Yeah, the alert. And having a, a, another forced alert is one of them. Uh. Now, um, once we kind of escape, I think it goes into, yeah, it's already into the alert phase. Good. So, especially these last, I think, I think it cancels with this ladder. Because of the difficulty I'm on, I think. No, it's still there, but it, it's a caution now. Alright, so we have to go into the drainage ditch, which actually hurts your health. Because it's chemicals in there. Um, and there, I think there's a bomb in the drainage ditch, too, that you might accidentally pick up. So just be aware of that. Um, but, yes. Something down there. Yeah, 
Oh, and there's a rash down there too. That's right. Alright, well, in any case, now we'll head back up and start uh, the process, I believe. Again, it's not, it's not like it's a bad place. I just hate the retreading and, you know, all that shit. Which I'm going to be edited. I think I've edited out of this. Like I'm, there's no reason to include every trip back and forth. I'll just see uh, the key turning and then returning to the room, I believe. There is a guard that starts patrolling this area, though. Uh, so just be aware of where his location is. Don't go too far down because if he sees you, it's a bad time. Alright, we're back at the room here. And lo and behold, the door's open. Yeah, and you're going to want to keep the chaff grenades going because the camera's in this room. You know, I've never... I have the GameCube remake of this. It's kind of a rare game uh, that has first person and all that. Never really played through it. I just wanted to have it to have it as, like, a Metal Gear fan. But, um... I wonder how easier that makes the game, because you can literally pick off all the cameras. Keys wrong? Keys wrong? Oh, yeah, I did. I used the thing. Alright, so... Is that the wrong one? What? Come on now. I clearly switched it to the blue one. You saw it in the video, right? It's blue. Looks like the key doesn't fit. Alright, it's being weird. I was trying to speed the process along a little bit, but... Um, the way you get a blue is you go back to the room where you fought Volk and Raven and stand there. And it, uh, it'll switch to the blue card. And you have a certain amount of time to get back from that, but uh, you should have fun. Okay, there goes pal code number two. All right, now the red one. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Where do we warm it? Where would you warm the key? For the red one, you go, oh, here we go. All right, I turn the stealth on. I, I used a little uh, little code for that, like I said earlier, because we will not be seeing that. But just to show you that the stealth camo is an item we can get, uh, you get penalized for using it in your end of game ranking if you really care about those things. But it is fun to get the big boss rank if you're that good. But you have to like. What about the blast furnace? For big boss, you have to like have no deaths, no rations, no kill. It's crazy. I think anyway. If it's a stricter, uh, two and threes work. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered.
Sorry, I'm not saying anything. It's just waiting for this Kodak call. Snake. It's about this is a good one. Hunter. I'm gonna try to He's shut up there. It. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox Die. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, so... I'll ask him myself. Going with off what I said earlier, it's pretty um, apparent that Master knows a lot. Now, maybe he's just that smart of a guy. But... Espionage. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't need to avoid the rough call stuff. Here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Die vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake. You might be infected too, you know. Seem really interested in that vaccine, man. Colonel. Colonel. Oh, Colonel. I do love the way the stealth effect looks in this particular game. It's green and a lot brighter. <laughs> but here we are. We're gonna gotta warm this key up. So we'll everything. Till then, take it easy.